Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today I have another tutorial for you. I know it's been a while, but this is something very interesting that Zach and I just ran into, and uh, I think we have a pretty cool solution that is kind of not really talked about very much. So we're using DaVinci Resolve Studio, and we are both using a NAS for collaboration. And we set up the NAS, and we set up the PostgreSQL, all that stuff, and we both had DaVinci Resolve Studio, and we have the footage all in the same place. We can both see the drives, but something happened. And that is that, for whatever reason, DaVinci Resolve wanted to see one at a time uh, the footage. So, like, it would show up on my camera, like, or on, on my end, like, I could see all the footage. And then he would go to it, and it would be offline. And then he would connect, and then all of a sudden it would just go back and forth. And for whatever reason, we could not see both at the same time. We finally figured out the problem. It's actually kind of simple. So if you go to DaVinci Resolve and you click Preferences here in a project, you're going to see that there's this media storage. And this is what DaVinci Resolve is looking to as its source of media. And it's asking, where am I looking? Now, you're going to have your drive mounted here. So, I mean, the NAS in our case, obviously. So in my case, the NAS shows up as the dash volumes, or I guess slash volumes, slash public. So this is our folder that we work from. The problem is, and you can see over here, there's this B and uh, colon dash. This is not normally there, and this is what this mapped mount is for. It is basically telling Resolve, hey, Resolve, this is the other computer I'm working with, and this is how their drive sees it. So what you want to do is both of you, or all, all of you, however this works, you need to go in, uh, in our case, just the two of us, go in and whatever ours says, we need to have the other person write that. So Zach's, for instance, says this as his mount, and mine says this, and his is going to be the opposite. His will say the slash volume slash public in the mounted, or mapped mounted, and then uh, his will be B over here. And what that's doing is, again, it's telling Resolve, hey, this is what it, the drive looks like to that other machine. Um, and then what this does is this is, it works perfectly fine. So we're both using the NAS, uh, which in my case is the volumes. In his case is B. It is mapped to the B drive. And it solved it. Uh, it's kind of a stupid, simple thing, but it is very hard to sort of figure out why this is. And it, it's really annoying, and I don't understand why it is not like more obvious or like no tutorial <laughs> basically explains this. Um, so if you have a NAS and you're using DaVinci Resolve Studio and you're having this problem, this is the solution. And I promise, you know, this probably will get 100 views, but I promise all 100 of you will be <laughs> so much happier, hopefully. Um, if you have any other questions about the NAS or the NAS workflow or the studio collaboration workflow, definitely let us know. We've been, uh, we've done a lot of uh, troubleshooting with it. So it's been annoying, but now that it's set up, it's finally working great. But if you guys have other questions about the setup or any of that stuff, let us know down in the comments and uh, more videos coming soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.